An intense storm is moving through the region and the downpour could cause problems in neighborhoods that are still recovering from those previous storms. Yeah, officials are already warning of possible flash floods, a lot of powerful winds, heavy snow way up high. In fact, we're already seeing the impact of that storm from the valleys and the foothills all the way up into the mountains. We have live team coverage tonight. Rachel Manitoff and John Fanolia are standing by with a look at the latest conditions outside. Yeah, first, though, let's go to Kai's here in the studio. He's got the latest, Kai. Well, thanks very much, Kareen, Rick, and good afternoon, everybody. Well, the rain began, of course, early this morning before the sun began to rise on this Saturday. And as that occurred, well, the rain was very widespread. Now, well, we're seeing more showery conditions through Southern California and what harder rainfall that we'll see over the next 24 hours will be a little bit more isolated in nature. Things are going to get a little bit dangerous as we make our way through your Easter Sunday afternoon as well. What I'm talking about is thunderstorms. Take a look at the lightning and what we're seeing. The reason why we're seeing these lightning strikes up into San Luis Obispo, Monterey County just offshore is now we're seeing colder air coming in behind this moisture. And as the moisture mixes in with that cold air, it brings a great deal of instability. And again, widely isolated. We'll take you up in towards the Ventura County area. You could see Thousand Oaks, Moore Park, Fillmore. They're picking up this area of moisture, this cell that's crossing the 118, headed up towards the 126 at this hour. We'll head into the basin, the LA basin, just south of downtown Los Angeles through Compton, East LA, all the way into the San Gabriel Valley, picking up some showers there. Also the Chino Hills, Fullerton community, showery conditions, and yes, snow in our local mountains. You can see Idlewild picking up snowfall. We'll cross the desert communities, the Yucca Valley up into the Big Bear area. They too are picking up snow showers, and we're seeing once again more on the way. We'll discuss the fact that we could see some water spouts along some of our beach communities. Rainfall could be heavy at times as we make our way through your Easter morning and your Easter afternoon, and once again, thunderstorms and hail could be in the forecast for Sunday afternoon. I'll give you all those details and much more when I come back in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Kai, we'll see you then. And take a look at this. A torrent of rain lashed communities from the coast through the valleys to the foothills, and it led to multiple crashes on Southern California's roadways. Yeah, let's get out to Rachel. She's tracking the conditions on the ground. She joins us live from Beverly Crest tonight. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rick. Hi, Kareen. And actually, this part of Mulholland Drive is closed because of erosion and damage from an earlier winter storm. Many of these hillside communities are just trying to recover from those previous storms, and now we've been hit with yet another one. There was a slide up here as recently as yesterday, and crews had to quickly work to stabilize the area. So obviously, this is one of the more vulnerable areas. We also have some video. It was taken overnight during the peak of the storm in downtown. Downtown LA. The downtown area is expected to get about two inches from this system. Most of Saturday and Sunday can expect this kind of steady rainfall that you're seeing with a chance of severe thunderstorms. As Kai mentioned, this could bring some small hail, heavy downpours, strong winds, and even the possibility of brief tornadoes through Monday. Flooding and flash flooding is always a concern when we get a good amount of rain. This video, this next video was taken in Sun Valley where the streets tend to fill up with water and it takes a while for those swells to dissipate. Excessive runoff can result in flooding of creeks, streams, and other low lying flood prone areas. Not surprisingly, the rain leads to very slick roads. We have video to show you from the 10 freeway where a semi truck hydroplaned before it jackknifed near Baldwin Park early this morning. And back up here in the hills, we're talking to residents who are concerned for the stability of their homes. The hillside is so saturated that it creates a real danger for slides. Take a listen. It's pretty bad because the whole side of the road has fallen down down the hill and uh, they built some retaining walls up there. I think on the next big rain, the hill, the houses above here, the slides are going to be really, really bad. And I don't know how they're going to enforce that because they're really, really are eroded. They're on pure dirt and uh, I have bedrock and, and a granite hill mountain behind me. These people building over here are on just on dirt. So that's that's a concern. Maybe slight bedrock, but mainly dirt. And they fear losing yeah. their home sure. to a mudslide. Of course, of course, fear of the whole house sliding down. Uh, lives could be taken. I mean, it's it's bad. Yeah, it is bad. 
And this part of Mulholland is closed indefinitely. Keep in mind there is a closure from Laurel Canyon, where we are right now, all the way to Coldwater Canyon on the Studio City side. Right now it's pretty cold outside, but obviously the rain has subsided. The sun has come out, but we are not expecting these conditions to last very long. We are expecting to, the rain to return in the next couple of hours. So we're going to monitor conditions from the ground up here in the hills, and we'll see you in the next hour. That's the very latest from Beverly Crest. Rick Kareen, back to you in the studio. Rachel Menatoff staying on top of it. We'll see you in the next hour. The San Gabriel Valley has been one of the hardest hit areas from all of that rain. This is footage you see from the foothills in Duarte. The city put up K rails near the foothills. This happened last December to help prevent the threat of mudslides in the area. And how about this? The storm system causing near White House conditions in the San Bernardino Mountains. This is where nearly a foot of snow is expected this weekend, and that, of course, means that travel through these mountains is going to be nearly impossible. Our John Finolio joins us live from Highway 18 near Crestline, where dozens of drivers have already gotten stuck in the snow on their way to Big Bear. Really tough conditions there tonight, John. Kareen Rick, good evening to you. That's right. It's cold, it's snowy, and it's still coming down out here in the San Bernardino Mountains. Take a look up the road. You can see the visibility is very low the higher up you go. This is one of the last pullouts to put on tire chains before the road becomes packed with a lot of snow, making driving conditions treacherous. And as you're about to see, it made getting to Big Bear a real nightmare for dozens of drivers. Slick, icy roads. Whiteout conditions, severe spinouts, and bottleneck traffic. All part of what you can expect in the snowy San Bernardino Mountains this weekend. Rick Rios and partner Darlene Espinosa's weekend getaway was dashed after the trek up Highway 18 to Big Bear was just too treacherous. It was really bad to get. It just started getting the snow, started piling on more. You couldn't even see, no visibility. and. It, it was just, yeah, a lot of accidents. Our car started sliding, no joke, to the point that we were like within f a foot of the railing and we both probably saw our life flash before our lives <laughs> thinking that we were going to die. For those on their way up the mountain, tire chains are required. Bernard Hanna is the owner of Four Bros Liquor. He's selling chains and showing customers how to put them on. How many people have come here to get chains today? Yeah. Yeah. Over maybe 20 today so far. Okay. And so you sell the chains and then do you charge to put them on? No, I just try to show them how. The National Weather Service says the storm is bringing several inches of snow over the weekend, as much as four feet above 8,500 feet. Highway 18 between Running Springs and Big Bear Dam became a massive snow trap early Saturday for dozens of drivers, with numerous cars buried in blizzard-like conditions. Still, caravans of vehicles continue the slow slog up the mountain. But once you're up here, it truly is a winter wonderland. As for Rick and Darlene, they're opting for gentler climbs in the desert. So we're going to have a great time in Joshua Tree. So we just booked a, a different Airbnb in Joshua Tree, which we love and it's amazing. So one of the first places we went to together as a couple. So yeah, it all works nice, out nice and too. we're alive and we didn't <laughs> fall off a freaking mountains. All right, the traffic remains bottlenecked once you get above Crest Line. The National Weather Service says the bulk of all the snowfall is occurring tonight and then will taper off into Sunday evening. For now, well, we're going to have more coming up at 6, but for now, I got to tell you, it is bone chilling cold. I mean, uh, it has been a slow slog getting up here into these mountains. Anyway, we'll have more coming up at 6. Rick and Kareen, keep it cozy in that studio. Yeah, we will. Don't fall off the mountain there, John. We appreciate it. <laughs> The grapevine, yeah, it also saw significant snowfall overnight. More is expected throughout the rest of the weekend there as well. Conditions dangerous there along the stretch of Interstate 5 all the way up through Fraser Park, where at least one car lost control, drove into a ditch. Flood watches, snow warnings, they're in effect until at least tomorrow as the Easter storm continues to move through. And plan ahead. If you have any travel plans to go up through that area, slow down, give yourself enough time to drive safely.
Well, this weekend storm is certainly affecting the roads and also the skies. That's right. Here's a live look at LAX where we've already seen 279 delays and three cancellations today. Meanwhile, in Orange County, John Wayne Airport has had 37 flights delayed and Bob Hope Airport in Burbank has had 26 flight delays. So if you're flying out tonight or perhaps picking someone up, be sure to double check your flight before you head out. Yeah, it looks nice at the airport right now mm -hmm. and stay with KTL as we continue to track the weekend storm. You can scan that QR code that you see on the screen there for the latest updates on the storm, and you can also get the weather in your own neighborhood. Just head over to ktla.com weather.